Hello, welcome to my channel, I'm All Things Wrestling, and today I'm going to be reviewing Impact Wrestling 5th of May 2020. I would just like to mention before I do this review, I've not watched Impact in a while, so I don't know about 90% of the people that were on this show. I'm just going to judge it by what I saw and how much I liked it. So yeah, with that note being said, let's get on to the opening segment, which is Sammy Callahan. Uh, making his way to the ring. He is limping from the effects of Ken Shamrock's ankle lock at Rebellion, which I really should have watched. He has a message to everyone. He tells OBE he doesn't, he doesn't need their help. Ken Shamrock then comes out and says he has something to say to Callahan. Callahan tells him to get in the ring and say it. He said, I've fought a lot of tough guys in my career. I've knocked out a lot of them and I've made a lot of them tap out. But you didn't tap. Sammy's like, no shit, but you're t one tough SOB. He tapped out the Big Show, Bass, Rutten, The Rock, and more. Shamrock told Callahan that they only have two choices and go back outside and finish this fight, or they can go after what they came here to get the Impact Championship belt. Everyone in this company came here for that. They can go outside or shake hands and put this behind them. Callahan's considering the offer, uh, offer and then it's interrupted by Michael. Elegant music. He comes out and says, I am the rightful champion. I'm Big Mike. Callahan's like, that. you get the same crowd reaction that you normally get. Nothing. Um, Michael's like, I get a reaction when the f fans are here and they go home and tweet t to their friends. He doesn't need you to use toys like Callahan does to get excited like staple guns. And he doesn't need middle fingers and spitting like Callahan does. He said Callahan could try and put his wrestling boots on, but they won't fit. He said he's a rightful number one contender. Shamrock says he's here to fight and go any time. Michael said that he's going to win the title at Rebellion, and that time will come, and the line starts behind him. Callahan wondered if Michael was trying to convince him, himself or the world that he's so great, but he said Michael is going to do the same thing he always does, choke. After that, uh, Michael may of Callahan and then Shamrock. They brought until he, uh, Michael escaped and ran off. Shamrock and Callahan face off. Um, before anything could happen, the lights went out and Callahan disappeared. Uh, overall, it wasn't about an opening promo. Um, I mean, it definitely would have felt better with a crowd, not going to lie, but overall it was a pretty good promo. I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. I'm assuming these guys are going to be chasing the championship. Yeah. Again, I don't really know much. Uh, then we go to Chris Bay backstage. He said it may be uncertain as to who the top contender for the world championship it, it is, but there's no debate. He is the number one contender for the X Division championship. He said he gets what he wants, when he wants it. Tonight he's going to fitness his way into being the X Division champion. He is going to be the first fitness division champion. Okay, overall and alright promo. Chris Bay seemed like a competent promo person. Uh gonna give it a six out of ten. Then we go to Willie Mack. I know this guy, he's good. He said he didn't expect someone to come after his title so quickly, but Chris Bay said he's going to take it from him. What Bay did was fit, uh, fitness his way into Mac, putting his foot up his ass. 6.5 out of 10. Willie Max entertaining. I'm not going to lie on that one. Uh, then we go to Madison Rain and Josh Matthews on commentary, putting over the X-Vision title, uh, title division tonight. Uh, the North are going to be defending their tag team championships from Canada. Um... Rain will be uh, doing a locker room talk tonight, and Matthews will be having a sit down um, chat with Moose, the TNA World Champion. Remember that distinction. He made it clear that he was the self proclaimed TNA Champion, and they will let him explain his recent actions. Overall, I like the fact they ran down the show. I like when shows do that. We then go OBE, Chris, uh, Jake, Chris, and Mad Man Fulton. With Dave Christ. I'm assuming Chris, Jake and David. Um, brothers. Cousins. I don't know. And then XXL's Larry D and Ace Romero. The match 
It was fairly decent, actually. Uh, D nailed a big right hand on Christ and scored the pin. So, Triple XL has picked up the victory over OVW, uh, OVE. Sorry, not OVW. Jesus, I'm not in developmental. Uh, yeah, overall, I'm going to give it the match a 3 out of 5. I found it quite an entertaining contest. Uh, then we move on to the Impact Moment of the Week. Mick Foley versus Kurt Angle. Come on. You've got to see a bit of classic DNA. I like it. We then have Madison Rain hosting Locker Room Talk with Johnny Swinger as a co-host. This Their guest this week is Havoc. She was asked about how she feel, uh, feels losing to Rosemary. She just stares Angle in and asks what's next. Um... Havoc says perhaps they have forgotten what happened to the last person that got under her skin. And Rain says another word. She's going to be added to the list. Rain's like, okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh, we have your old friend... Your old friend, Navia Was at ringside last week. Havoc said, I don't know why she was there. Rain says, this wasn't Havoc's only old friend to come to Impact and introduced... Uh, to, to be there. And then she introduced... Former WWE Developmental and Chikara start uh, Kimberly. She's now making her Impact debut. Havoc told her that she knows exactly who Lee is, but Lee knows exactly who she is. It was too. But yeah, they um, kind of rushed to the segment, and Swinger was just kind of doing things in the background. Uh, okay, it was it, it was all right. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. They kind of rushed the end segment where they actually introduced Kimberly, in my opinion. We then go to Cody D uh, Dina. He's parked his trailer and set up shop to begin his self-quarantine. He has got to deal with his neighbour to use his hose and wash his hands. They show footage of the neighbour catching him, use the water and yelling at him to get away. Um... And then he was losing his mind, arguing with uh, LGN WWF figures. Um, um, like they were old friends. He, uh, there was a Terry Funk in there. He even set up merchandise for cars to pass by and by. Going to give it an 8 out of 10. Very funny, actually. Cody D, uh, D Dina... Cody Dina was pretty entertaining, to be fair. Uh, we're moving swiftly on to uh, Joey Swinger versus Suicide. Yes, Suicide is back again in Impact. Um, Swinger does trash talking. In the end, uh, Suicide nailed a swanton off the top for the pin going to give the match a 2.75 out of 5. It wasn't overly spectacularly amazing, but Suicide got a victory, which was amazing. Nice. Welcome back, Suicide. And yes, of course, it's not the same freaking person that was Suicide before, because he left. Oops, sorry, I'm breaking kayfabe. Uh, then Austin, Ace Austin uh, commented on tonight's X Division title belt. He said, a brazen SOB who's brand new called his shot for a title match, but who who was Chris Bay ever beaten? He ran down the list of people he's beaten. It, he noted that it took eight months to get a title shot. He told Bay that he was sorry, but Willie Max contractually owes him a rematch, and he announced he's putting himself into the title match tonight. So it'll be a triple threat match. Seven out of ten. He came off as an arrogant asshole. Very good work there, dude. We move on to the sit down interview with Moose holding the TNA Championship. They recap everything that happened at Rebellion. He said, Elgin, Michael Elgin claimed that he's a true champion, but Moose is the only one who's beaten a former champion, Ken Shamrock, Rob Van Dam, Rhino, and that makes him a champion. Matthews is like, you've beaten all those, but the TNA title belt was in a warehouse until you brought it, until being brought out for a TNA TV special. How did you even get the title? He said, it doesn't matter. I don't even know what you're talking about, but the truth of the matter is I'm sitting here as the TNA champion and therefore the real world champion. Matthews noted the number one contenders tournament for the Impact title next week. Moose said he's putting himself, pulling himself out of the tournament as he did not care about a second class title. 
He has the most prestigious title in the world around his race. Matthew said he didn't win the title. Moose said he won it when he pinned RVD, Rhino and Shamrock and beat the hell out of most of the men who walked into the building representing TNA. Matthew said he didn't mean to disrespect him, but he didn't win the title. Moose said, before I put my hands on you, this interview is over. Um, 8.5 out of 10. Moose was fantastic. I mean, they brought the TNA world title back, which is amazing as well. Um, I wish it was the NWA, but hey-ho. Just reliving my days before the TNA world title was a thing. Uh, then we go to... Cousin Jake versus Joey P... Sorry, Joseph P. Ryan. Also known as Joey Ryan. Uh, Joey Ryan got beat up quite a lot and then um, thumbed him in the eye, rolled him up and got the pin. Getting in the match 2.5. Not overall much, but Joey Ryan's a thing now. Completely different thing. Uh, then we go to what was probably the weirdest thing I've seen on this show. They went to the Don Kovalik Arena in Canada and they had some like pretend fans. They, they piped in crowd noises and then they bring out people and then they destroyed the people and then they retained the championship. It was... Uh, overall... It was it was a bit weird. I, I, I don't know. Who are the champions? Just before I mention. Um, the North. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give the segment a 5 out of 10. I, I don't know what to think of it. It was a bit weird. I wasn't bad, just... I don't know what to think. Uh, then Rosemary was being interviewed. She said it's fun being back in the heat of the battle last week, but wondered what the cards foretell for the future. Someone spoke to her from beyond via the cards. She teased she was going to do someone and leave them for dead, but she wasn't sure who to start with. Okay, 4 out of 10. Weird. Rosemary is... Um, yeah, Rosemary. I like Rosemary, she's a good wrestler. Then Rohit Raju gets interviewed backstage. He said that as soon as Moose has dropped out of the top contender tournament, he's taken his spot. He's been here for three years and put it, his D, Dzai hit squad first, but now he's putting himself first. He thought and clawed and scratched his way and now demands his seat at the table. He said his mother called him son because he shines like one. Six out of ten. Then we go to the X Division Championship for that main event. Willie Mack versus Chris Bay versus Ace Austin. The winner of this match was Willie Mack with a frog splash. Overall, main event was a good back and forth contest. All three guys were very good in the contest. I'm going to give it a 3.25 out of 5. Good retain for Willie Mack. And overall, impact, I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. I thought it was overall entertaining. I feel like maybe if I knew more what was going on, it would have gone a bit higher, maybe lower, I don't know. I, this is the first impact I've watched in a very long time, so take the gr uh, rating for the show with a grain of salt. We'll get into this a bit more. But next week we have TNA Champion Moose vs. Suicide, the number one contenders tournament, Rohit Raju vs. Trey Mig Miguel, and Hernandez vs. Madman Fulton. Uh, we also have Kimberly vs. Havoc. Looks like it'll be an action-packed episode of Impact next week. But anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed this review. I'm sorry it was slightly rambly and I was trying to figure out things for doing it. It's a learning curve for a brand new product that I have not watched. Well, I say brand new. I've watched Impact before, but I didn't know most of the people on this show. But yes, thank you for watching. Smash the like button, subscribe, and I shall catch you all later. Bye.